What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age of Empires, the Forgotten Siblings action. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as Ra. His name is Chrono JJ. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Thor. His name is Odin King. The map is Anatolia. And this is a best of three for the Champions League, the Vubilee Champions League Challenges League portion. These two players are both incredibly strong players in their own right. Corona JJ being the best Age of Mythology, the Titans player back in 2004, hitting at rank number one on the ladder. Um, and Odin King himself also uh, performing very well in a myriad of different tournaments over the years. So we will see how this game is going to be going. Odin King going with the Thor here. He is known to be the King of Odin, but in this game, it looks like he's going to be uh, ditching the Odin, going with the Super OP OP 5.0 Thor, uh, getting the extra 250 gold in the gold mine, the extra speedy f uh, trolls with their, with all the other things that, that happens. Uh, Chrono JJ deciding to take his Ra into this. He's always been a Ra player, and honestly, he's, he's never really been... A Ra abuser in the sense that he's fairly opposed to mercenary. He fairly he, he uses the rock, but he doesn't like rely on the rock to deal damage. It's more like a, uh, a sm it's like more of a creative usage of the rock normally. So uh, for Chrono JJ, his playstyle hasn't really been touched all too much with the uh, 5.0 nerfs to Ra, um, and we'll see what he's going to do here. He's making his fishing ships, gathering from his uh, his mahi mahi. And uh, and this is going to be an interesting one. We already see a second dot coming up for Odin King. So he's going to attempt to get as many of these fishing spots as he possibly can. If we check out the map just a little bit, what he could do is sneak forward with this ship here to try and take a couple of these Mahi Mahi spots because he's got the dock in a really good position here. But uh, looks like he's not going for that one just yet. Corona JJ trying to get out as many fishing ships as he possibly can. Um, going on to the ball with four villagers on food four on wood almost three on the gold mine here temple coming up now for chrono jj as well uh, and there won't be a temple for odin king for just a little bit longer it looks like chrono jj is going for a very fast advanced time building a temple this fast only two villages on gold maybe he just goes for a super fast second town center fills up the fish a little bit later it's not the worst of ideas we'll see if that's exactly what he's going to do or if he's going to go for some sort of a cheese here with a, a scarab rush or maybe a shifting sands rush uh not a villager rush per se but like something interesting we'll see if that happens or not corona jj just about to finish up with his food on the bottom of this anatolia map as well he's making the uh the, the cross here to um to Jesus, this is uh, his prayers uh, need to be answered in this game. Um, as you can see, we've got just down here. And this is where uh, this is where Jesus had held held his last breaths until he was resurrected. In which case, he decided to breathe some more. And um, yes, so we've got some relics over here. We've got the tail of Cerberus, a negative twenty five percent myth unit special attack recharge time. And we've also got the trios of bow, an extra two range. Ballister, Kara Ballister, and Line of Sight. So a really good relic here, but not so much for the Norse player because it doesn't really help the Ballister. The Ballister already have a ton of range, so the extra two doesn't matter that much. And you don't get any archers. So that's going to be what it is. And uh, there we go. Alrighty, we've got uh, Odin King gathering from the boar, doing all the good stuff. We've got the dwarves here on the gold mine so many dwarves for odin king this makes me feel like he is going to be maybe doing some sort of semi-fast heroics or mythics or fast town centers or something like that we'll see what he wants to do uh, he does have the opportunity to share this ox cart with the gold mine as well so he's not gonna have to build a, another ox cart until later in the game Especially, was, is there two boar here? I, think, I thought I saw there were two. There are two boar here for him as well. So we'll see if he's going to use all of those or not. Already has the dock up on the top side of the map, making his fishing ship. So is Chrono JJ, and we see uh, Dar is coming through. So he's got eight villages on the food, uh, and he's on the wood, I sh on the gold, I should say. Four villages on wood. Where's the... Am I missing something here? Did he cut villages? 
Or is that normal? 16, 16 villager. Let's just see this. L, um, R, A. We've got 19. Oh, he's got 19 laborers. So I'm missing some. They're somewhere on the map. Um, cheek cheekily popping up here, I guess. Uh, and it looks as though there's no armory coming up. We do see Persine coming through. And Corona JJ's already got 14 fishing ships. So it's not even like it's that bad. Do see the shifting sands coming in, but that brings in these units straight into the base, but they're gonna just run away. He loses one her, so no box here for Chrono JJ. It's a little bit sad. He actually could have put them right here. This would have been a perfect spot between the two towers and the town center. If he tries to run out that way, you just build an armory over here, get that building block, but it doesn't happen. Now the priest is going to be getting sniped over here. That's a lot of resources down the drain for Chrono JJ. The priest for Ra, very important units. Um, but we've got uh, longboats coming in and Odin King uh, with the paws. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh! Oh! Um... Hello? Explain? I mean... We don't really have a rule for... For that sort of thing. Is Chrono JJ not building villages? It wouldn't be a Chrono JJ game if you, uh, if, uh... Wait, it's moving. It's moving. If this fishing ship moves away, the... <laughs> it's moving! It's back! Wait, it almost got back. <laughs> oh, no, and it's back again. Okay. Look at him go! He's just doing what he wants. No, it's just not, it's just like... Not obeying the laws of physics at all. Just doesn't care. Uh, he does lose it though. The, the, the doc's going to do a lot of damage to it, but... Rone King losing a couple more of these cabinets, and finally we get some villagers building now for Chrono JJ. More houses coming up for Odin King, but already it's like 25 uh, Norse villagers to 23 Egyptian villagers. Not something you want to be at. Not a position you want to be in if you are a Chrono JJ fan. Does manage to snipe a fishing ship though, so that's got to be very good for him. Chrono JJ does have a 17 fishing ship right now, so that's a big advantage in that department. Kind of making the game fairly even in terms of the disparity of units here, uh, of civilian units. So that's good for him as well. We do see the uh, Valkyrie coming in, going to get sniped by the Pharaoh. The Valkyrie does snipe one Axeman before falling. It's a nice play there for Chrono JJ. We do check out the upgrades here for Odin King. He does have his own Perth scene as well. Uh, and here, oh, random fishing ships over here. Just deciding whether or not they want to function. Go JJ coming back in. Going to attempt to get this dock up. Harassing the fishing ships. Odin King not paying attention. And it does manage to go in there with another longboat coming out. Meanwhile, Chrono JJ can't really push in onto this one. He is going for a delayed second town center. I don't, I don't like these delayed second town centers because you've got, you can see that he's got so many, so much food in the bank from all the fishing ships that you can simply just go heroic age, simply just go mythic age after that, and even like Horus at that stage on the um the hometown center, so strong, or even just a migdol in the middle of the map and just applying pressure. Going for a, a, a land timing push. Really, really strong as well. But we do see Bragi incoming for Odin King. So an interesting decision here. No second town center. No crazy amounts of military production um, right now. It's with only a longhouse and a temple. So got to be a questionable decision as to why he's going Bragi here when, when Skadi is such a, a powerful god. But we'll see if it works out for him. He can use it to hit the land and the water at the same time as well. We do see some more longhouses going down, throwing axemen, getting built. Armory um, coming up for Krona JJ, who's on his way to uh, attempt to get to the next age. 
He's still got the 18 fishing ships, but he's about to get harassed here onto this location. And there's the Bragi. Can we see an instant hill for it? It doesn't have the gold just yet. Villages over here. I've got pickaxe, but no shaft mine. Villages over here have got bow saw. Now we're seeing the dog's gonna get sniped down with the assistance of the battle ball. Chrono JJ coming in with his cabinets. We don't see any attempted arrow ship cladding, so Chrono JJ trying to fight here as early as he possibly can in order to take down as many longboats as he can. Really smart play there to make that push happen. Now Odin King has got the old Sark out. He's got the battle ball out. He's going to be hitting this talent center. I don't know if he needs to use flaming weapons just yet. Chrono JJ going to preemptively use his rain to block that one. The Axeman coming in trying to snipe these scrambling. We'll see what the town center is doing. The town center is very smartly hitting those throwing Axeman and Chrono JJ is defending this very, very nice. We'll see Ulfsark trying to take down the Pharaoh, but that's just going to get Garrison. Nice micro here. The priests need to get onto those battle ball. And now Odin King is getting pushed away as the priests are going to finish off at least one of those, or almost one of those battle boys is running back. And Odin King's going to have to rethink his plan here. He's grabbing quarry. He's got very little gold in the bank. He's not able to pump out units because he doesn't have the food with only 12 fishing ships here. Um, he does have a lot of wood income, which is why I thought maybe going for the, the, um, the hill fort wasn't a bad idea. But we'll see what happens. Um, we do have Horus on the way now for Chrono JJ, who's going to be uh, advancing. Getting there about 12 minutes and 10 seconds into the game. Uh, and we'll see if that's going to assist him or hinder him. Uh, throwing up some more barracks now for Chrono JJ. Axeman's popping out slowly but surely in order to deal with the infantry spam of Odin King. But he's throwing up his market. Uh, and we'll see where he wants to go with that one. Um, obviously can't advance just yet. And he's trying to get some damage done. But these cabinets are just harassing so very well against Odin King. Um, and we see another barracks coming up. Just barracks everywhere as it's just Axeman spam. The answer to Axeman uh, as Norse is either Jarl or and or raiding cavalry. So whenever you're doing that, you just got to get the upgrades and then push in. These Axemen only do five hack damage. They've got 40% hack armor, but with only five hack damage, those um, raiding cavalry are going to be able to, to tear through them. You can see their damage um, is eight damage. So it's doing quite a bit more. And they still have a little bit of, um, I think it's 20%. Yeah, 20% hack armor as well. So these uh, these axemen do next to nothing. But we do see a Patsuchos is out. Jumping into this 4.0 speed rock here. Moving forward, going to try and find something to kill. Something to locust. Generally speaking, if this uh, if this rock in Patsuchos can get a big amount of villager kills, like right here with it, 26 villagers here, it's going to be really big. But no watchtowers coming through for Odin King. This is um, what I've talked about is pretty vital for uh, the Norse players to do. Whenever you see, uh, whenever you see heroic age through Hathor, either against Isis or against uh, against Ra as Norse, most important upgrade is that watchtower. We do see that uh, the Mythic Age is just about to get clicked for Odin King. Looks like he's going for a fairly um, all-in Ragnarok here. He's clicked Balda. The rock going to be flying in. We'll see if these villagers preemptively run back to the town center or not. The, the, the rock is not going to sneak by this sentry tower. And now we see the Axemen attacking these houses. I like that distracting Odin King quite a bit. And he's coming in. Oh, this could be deadly. Odin King not paying attention. 20 villages in. This could either be the most deadly locust or a nothing locust. <laughs> 34 villages remaining. I don't even know how many that was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 villages it looks like. And the Patsuchos is still in here doing damage. Down to, down to 33 villages. 32 villages. Now the Patsuchos just gets picked off. He can just jump over the other side of the wall and just keep on killing these low HP villages. 31 villages. <coughs> and Chrono JJ can basically do whatever he wants now. He's got fortified town centers. He's got sun-dried mud brick. Masons can come in soon. He's probably got... 
heavy axemen coming through as well. Exactly. Maybe copper mail wouldn't be a bad idea. And there's the Balder. 101 population for Odin King. There's the Ragnarok going up to... 163. 163. The Fire Giant will come in and deal a lot of damage to these Axemen. Now Odin King coming in with his Heroes of Ragnarok. He's got flaming weapons, so he's going to be able to make a big push. Really beautiful Forest Fire here to open up this position quite a lot. It's going to kill the Barracks. It's probably going to kill... Well, it might kill a Watchtower or something like that. The wall definitely will go down as Odin King's going to attempt to push in here. He's got full bronze right now. Stone walls are trying to come through for Chrono JJ. There's the, the flaming weapons as these villagers are going to start getting taken down very, very quickly. Uh, and the rag here is attempting to break through here. This forest fire taking a little bit too long. Would have maybe like to see him cast it a little bit preemptively as this, uh, long, this, this barracks just about to go down. But look at the damage. Odin King already looks like he's down uh, to a ridiculously small amount of uh, of these rag heroes here. As Chrono JJ may have lost a lot of villagers, down to only 37 right now. But Odin King at 96 population as he's attempting to take down the Watchtower and, and uh, finish this game off the Axeman here, taking down the Ulfsark and everything else. Fire Giants in the back. Picking things off slowly, but 51 population remaining for Odin King. He's making gatherers. He's got 77 favor in the bank. No trade route started. Oh, he's got one Ox Caravan, but it's not going back and forth at all. But Suchos even coming in to add insult to injury. And once that falls, what can you do? Build another fire, fire giant, I guess. Fine giant has such high armor that it takes so long for him to die, but when the Pharaoh comes in, he's gonna snipe this so very quickly. But one one bonus, well, I mean if you have the market in a decent spot like over here or over here, like he would be able to get a decent amount of gold from the Ox Caravan, so he'd be able to build some more villages out because he does have the food, the fish right now still. One thing that uh Corona JJ could do is build a dock up here and, and, and pick off some of those uh those fishing ships. Uh, but we are seeing the Axemen taking down some long, um, some docks over here. Battle balls in the back, get pushed back. Chrono JJ's held. He's in a perfectly good position now. Still two town centers. Wouldn't be a bad idea to just grab the third town center. Just consolidate the position and then push forward. Or get up that siege works, make some siege towers and just push in. Keep going for the raids. Uh... Odin King doesn't have access to a gold mine either, which is huge. All he's got are the ox caravans. He's got seven ox caravans right now, so 14 civilian units to 52 civilian units here. Oh, there's 16 fishing ships as well. I tell a lie. It's a little bit more than you'd think, but I'm seeing the battle boards coming in. They're going to get uh, sniped by those priests very fast. Oh, Chrono JJ should not be taking these fight here. The fire giants completely tear through the Axeman. That's a big win there for uh, for Odin King. And Chrono JJ is getting airship fighting quarry right now for some reason. This needs to be getting our priests to deal with this. Nothing but priests. But Odin King doing a lot of damage with this fire giant follow up somehow, some way. And you can see he's now 20. He's only 20, down 20 villages at this point. So he's getting, he's catching up a little bit, it looks like, which is based off the damage that he's doing with these fire giants. This is absolutely brutal. Do we have, we don't even have um, skin of the rhino here because that's one thing that has changed for Ra. You have to build it from the town center. So these villages are dying really, really quick. Now Pharaoh's come back in, ready to push back here. But now look at this. 36 villages here for Chrono JJ, whereas Odin King... He's getting awfully close to that, that amount of villages, and, and maybe Odin King can cl climb his way back into this game. He needs to not build these raiding cavalry, though, and get an Ulfsark out and fix this trade um, trade route up in order to really make sure he's getting some value out of these ox caravans. Maybe coinage as well, if he could ever afford it. I've got a couple of those raiding cavalry looking for something. Villages 
have been spotted over here as we see some uh, longboats taking some things down ramming galleys taking down the docks but the longboats will be able to come over here and defend for the time being Kuro's just not really I don't know what his plan is here he needs a plan he's got his fourth, third town center he's building villages fairly decently <laughs> Iron King is almost what we would say back in this game, but he has been hit on the food quite hard just now by those uh, ramming galleys. We'll see if it matters or not. He's not he's not fishing from over here. The war barge comes in to take down these fishing ships. So that's going to hurt the economy of Odin King quite a bit. So even though he was looking like he was in an okay position here in terms of economy. It's not really because it's, now he's got no fishing ships gathering or almost no fishing ships gathering. And if Chrono JJ keeps on putting pressure onto this with some war barges, he can very easily kill off all of Odin King's food. You see these axemen yet again falling victim to the fire giants of Odin King. He just keeps building them. He's got 60 favor in the bank. He's just short on gold. Now we've got the chariot archers that found their calling card, found the trade route. Of Odin King, these are expansive villages. 100 food apiece, very important. We do see the raiding cavalry coming in. They should be able to clean up these uh, these chariot archers here if Odin King sees it or not, but it looks like he's not noticed the raid just yet. And he's moving in and trying to deal with the uh, the priests over here, maybe. Oh, now he notices it. No, he doesn't. Tell a lie. These chariots just go to town. He does get watchtowers up in order to try and defend against this. We see the fire giants going down slowly. These priests do no damage to them at the 80% uh, pierce armor mark. It's pretty crazy. Now the chariot's moving back away from the town. Gonna just sit over here in front of the market and attack these ox caravans as best as he can. Run JJ with a lot of gold in the bank. Looks like he's going to grab the fourth town center. Just wants to secure that one, make sure Odin King doesn't get it. But Odin King's never getting another town center here. He can only hope for some sort of a gold staff, which might actually be possible in this game. Like, Chrono Jade has got 1600 gold, though. Like, it's a lot of gold. But these are the only gold mines on the map left. He is getting up his Migdol stronghold. Should be able to secure this position, but I would prefer to see a market or two getting up here to, to ensure that, like, just stay in the, the heroic gauge a little bit longer, ensure you get, like, 10 uh, camel caravans or something out. But looks like Odin King is going to tap out in the 22-minute mark here. GG! Well played by Chrono JJ. Nice hold against the uh, one-town center Ragnarok from Odin King. I don't think that this is the way to do it. I've seen a lot of different Thor styles here on uh, Anatolia and they all revolve around getting an early second town center, but he doesn't go for that. Maybe he was a little bit worried with the super early advance from Krona JJ, but he um, he did lose out on this one. So first game on Odin King's home map actually goes to Krona JJ. So if you guys enjoyed these games, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.